Today we are going to see chapter 8. Okay? So chapter 8 is Cycle, Delight Jewels and Thriving Charm. So we are going to see about famous and very very important villagers and towns during those period okay let's start so i don't know what you have to do you have to take a note and you have to write and you have to take important notes when you are listening class okay that will help you a lot okay taking notes while listening class will help you to learn easier and remember that that uh, whatever you are writing that will be in your mind and it is easy to recall okay so let's start first iron tools and agriculture iron tools and agriculture use of iron can be tracked back 3000 years with growing use reflecting some 2500 years ago so use of iron started before many years and after that after using iron tools what what are the things it included means it's access for clearing forest and iron plow show that is used for agriculture and that is for uh, for increasing agricultural production it is used a lot so this iron tools helped in agricultural production more agricultural production for irrigation purpose for clearing forest and in many ways this iron tools helped them a lot okay next who lived in the villages who lived in the villages what kinds of people what are the kinds of people lived in villages during that time three different kinds how many different kinds three different kinds of people lived in villages in the southern and northern parts of the subcontinent okay and the first one is large land owners were known as velalars like first kind of people is like large land owners they were called as velalars and second ordinary plough man were known as ullavar ordinary man they were called as ullavar and the last landless laborers including slaves were known as kadaziyas and adimites Okay, now you understood three different kinds of people living in village. First, land owners, large land owners known as Velalars, and second, plowmen, they were known as Ullavar, and third, landless labels, they are like including slaves, they were known as Kadasiyas and Adimites. So, you understood the three categories? Very good, children. Next. The northern part of the country had village headmen or grama bujakas. So, in the northern part of the country, for each village, there is a village headman, village head. They are called as grama bujaka. Grama bujaka. Okay. The men from the same family held this position for generations. So, after father, his son, and after that, next. So, this from the same family they hold that post okay it's hereditary okay so grammar pojaka post is hereditary father son next generation like that is passes on okay next out about city stories travelers structure and archaeology so how we can find about city from the stories olden stories then some travelers they have written in their books and sculpture using the statues, idols and archaeology department. They used to decode many things and find out many things. Okay. So, from these we can find about the old cities. Jatakas or chories that were composed by ordinary people and written down and preserved by Buddhist monks. And there are stories like Jatakas that are composed by ordinary people and written down and preserved by Buddhist monks. Buddhist monks. Okay. Next. Sculpture so scene depicting people's lives. So sculpture. So so I'm making sculpt. Uh, that means sculpture. They used to make the scene. Okay. Like explaining people's lives in towns, villages and forests. So they used to decorate in pillars, gateway of buildings. In that they used to draw and nicely the lives of people, how they are living in towns, village, forest. So that is 
using that we can find out about old then some of the cities were surrounded by massive fortification wall big walls surrounded like compound walls big walls okay and archaeologists found rows of parts a ceramic ring arranged one on the top of other they are called as ring well okay rows of parts or ceramic ring they were arranged one on the other okay they were called as ring well then they were used in toilets in some cases and as drains and garbage dumps some there they were used as toilets and in some place that are used as garbage put the waste and they are usually found in individual houses okay and there were hardly any remains of palaces markets or homes of ordinary people so these are yet to be discovered by archaeologists okay next coin so wealth measured in terms of coins okay people having more coins they are like wealth people okay so earliest coins were in use for about 500 years with punched mark coins like this they are generally rectangular shape and sometimes they will be like square okay they are rectangular in shape and sometimes they are square or round in shape okay dear children have you seen this type of coins okay let's see next cities with many functions cities with many functions so madura that is an important settlement for more than 2500 years so madura this place is an important settlement for more than 2500 years okay so this is at located at the cross roads of two major routes of travel and trade and farmers and herders from adjoining areas provide a food for people in the city okay so farmers and herders provide a food for the people in the city so madura as center for extremely fine sculpture was produced okay different type of sculpture was produced in this city so it became second capital of kushana madura was also a religious center and there were buddhist monasteries jaina shrines so this in madura it's like important religious center okay so in this madura there were buddhist monasteries buddhist holy place and jaina shrine and this is an important place for the worship of krishna okay so you all know about krishna right so this place is an important place for the worship of krishna then craft and craft person craft and the craft person who are making that craft so archaeologists have evidence for this craft so extremely fine pottery lot of northern black polished ware like this northern black polished ware that is very famous and found in the northern part of subcontinent and next manufacturing of cloth was important famous centro such as varanasi in the north madura in the south and men and women worked in this centro and craft person and merchants now formed associations they had one association so group of people they form one association so that is called a shrines so shrines is of craft person they will in that they will provide training for the people then they give raw material and they will distribute the finished product so they give training how to make the craft and they give the raw material and finally they get the finished product and they will distribute the finished product they will sell the finished product Let's look about Arikya Medu. So this Arikya Medu is the place in Puducherry, Pondicherry. Okay. So Arikya Medu is the place in Puducherry. It's a coastal settlement near to sea. Okay. The ships were unloaded goods. From ships they will get many goods that are uh, brought from distant place, from far away place. Many uh, goods are brought to this place, like uh, pottery from Mediterranean region. that are called called as amphorae that means tall double handled jar that contain liquid such as wine or oil then stamped red glass to pottery that is known as artain ware okay so like this different kinds of goods they will be bringing from different place that are far away distant land then from rome they will get a roman lamps glass ware gems that are found at this site 
the small tanks found they were used for dyeing wards and also used to dyeing cloth making colors to the cloth okay then plenty of evidence for the making of beads for beads chain like that okay then semi precious stones and glass from this they are made of beads elsewhere so rome that is the one of the oldest city in europe so rome is one of the oldest city in europe now we are seeing out of india okay oldest city in europe developed at the same time as the cities in ganga valley so how in the ganga valley the uh, cities were developed at the same time this rome city was also developed so capital of one of the largest empires spread across europe north africa and west asia so augustus he is the most important emperor augustus he is the most important emperor okay so he ruled that empire he ruled about 2000 years ago found rome as city of brick and he changed that into city of marble so who changed rome from city of brick to city of marble augustus okay dear children and later many rulers built many temples and palaces there thus rome became very famous and now rome is very famous right very good children so thank you children thank you for listening that's all for today's video so just see this video once again and get all the important points note down that that will help you for recalling okay dear children so thank you have a nice day